Well, thanks for tuning in. It's going to be a short video on connecting antennas directly to the IC705. I'm talking about HT antennas, rubber ducts, uh, mobile antennas such as Diamond, and uh, some of the mounts that are available. All right, the IC705 being such a portable radio, it just it's kind of natural that we look for ways to put something simple uh, like a, a rubber duck from an HT on it. Unfortunately, the IC705 isn't quite the same as, as, as an HT. The body doesn't act as a counterpoise, which means if you want to use something like this, this rubber duck, you, you've got to add on uh, some counterpoises and and so here's a that's a a two meter seventy centimeter antenna and what I've got is two little counterpoises that are attached to the grounding lug one for four forty and one for for two meters without counterpoise I do an SWR check on a spread above and below one forty five megahertz and the SWR is off the charts I add counterpoise and rerun the test, and the SWR is a fairly decent 1.3 to 1 across the same spread. Uh, but what I want to do is kind of walk through the, the different types of mounts that, that they have for this that are, are on the market right now. So what I've got on here now, this is really just a, it's kind of a, a um, no brand eBay um, uh, bracket that holds the it, it basically just holds the the antenna holds the BNC uh, right angle uh, connector in 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 position. It's not a load bearing support, so um, it's it's great for little antennas like this. Something that's very simple and, and very light. Um, and here's something similar to it. This is it's like it's just an angle bracket um, with a notch here that the the uh, the 90 degree angle uh, BNC connector, or in this case, this is for an SO239 to BNC. Um, it just holds it in place and at the angle that you want. So anyway, uh, some of the other antennas. So uh, this type of bracket is fine when you have a, a light antenna like a, like a rubber duck. But if you want to go for something heavier, uh, put something bigger on it, like, you know, maybe a bigger antenna like that, you get some better performance. You need, uh, an SO239 is more appropriate. But when you're getting into these bigger antennas, you need load bearing capability with it too. So, whereas this bracket is kind of a no brand, um, eBay, eBay purchase, uh, Windcamp came out with one that's, uh, it's very similar but it's got two actual levels of support. One, uh, there's a little uh, groove here that supports the barrel of the, of the BNC connector so that it's not putting weight on the antenna as it's, it's pressing down, isn't, isn't really torquing that, the BNC connector. And then the other one is actually the, you know, the, the square part of this SO239, the base of it, so it, it, holds, it holds it in place uh, like that. So it's very secure. Um, and it's, it's small, but it still puts most of the, uh, well, it still adds weight to the, to the BNC connector itself and also, uh, to the grounding lug. This is a wind camp. I forget the RC2 is what the, or the, that one is. And then another one that's, that's similar. This is the Comet. Um, the nice thing I like about this bracket is that it actually does not put any any stress on the BNC connector itself. So it connects via this little pigtail, uh, you know, the cable here up to a two, uh, the SO239, which is held independently, and and it it rests on the the uh, uh, the grounding lug, and then also this the, the the bigger circle here goes over goes around the the uh, the frame of the the, the BNC connector. Um, it's got a little screw here that you adjust the angle. This this elbow. Uh, the only thing is, when I put heavier antennas on this one, what I found is is that it will it will give, and and uh, especially with with some of the bigger mobile antennas, 
because uh, I do like this this antenna mount. This is the common antenna because it doesn't put stress directly on the BNC connector. Um, and then I think everyone's familiar with this one. This is another wind camp, but uh, this is the connector. Uh, the big one again. It doesn't put stress on the on the BNC connector because it's got a a, a short stretch of, of coax that goes from the BNC and converts it to an SO239, so you can put the bigger antennas on it, especially if you're going to do something like a HF. The downside of this is the only point of connection is just the grounding lug, and so if you have the radio elevated like this. Um, this, this will not hold. If you have any weight on it, it's going to start creeping down. So it's best if you don't have it on a stand that uh, you're sitting it on the, uh, you know, on the table or on the, you know, on a, a solid surface. And then this axe is kind of a prop. And so then it leans back and, and this will sit on the ground. And then the weight of your antenna is actually transferred directly to the ground. It's not transferred to your radio at all. So that's, it's a very good a very good option. I think that's the one that most people have is uh, is this one. But if you're you're going to have it elevated like this, and this is this is really kind of problematic. You really have to torque that down hard in order to get it to to stay. Um, the other downside to something like this is you can't if you have the backpack, you can't put this in the backpack. And actually, the the other wind camp. Um, I, I think will actually work in the does does work in the in the in the backpack. Um, this other one, the Comet, uh, whereas I like that one too because it, it keeps the stress off of the BNC connector. Uh, it it does not fit into the backpack using the the hole the antenna hole on the side of the backpack. But uh, um, as far as the antennas and and the counterpoises, my, my way around that is to look for radioless antennas, antennas that don't require a radial at all, uh, and they work great. The downside is, is they're all 38 to 40 inches long, so that's a pretty pretty long antenna for, for, for this, and so this is the, uh, the Diamond NR7, NR770HAB. Um, and it's great because it gives me a good S SWR across two meters and 440 uh, and no counterpoise. Um, the counterpoises I found trying to tune these to the, the counterpoise to the rubber ducks and that are, are horrible. It's a, it is a real chore. Anyway, um, what I think I'm, I'm kind of leaning to as my, my go-to antenna mount for this to keep it mobile and that I can put it into my my uh the backpack is this uh, the uh wind camp i haven't even used it yet but i'm really impressed with it. just like the other wind camp bracket it's it's very well made it's it's you know nice machined aluminum looks like it's machined aluminum uh and a good solid solid structure solid build so i i think that'll work real well and uh it does like i said it it does tend to relieve the strain on the BNC connector by cradling the, the BNC part of it as well in there and also the SO239 part that's that's on that side as well. So it's got kind of double double cradling of the, you know, double support for the, uh, for the extra weight of the antenna. Well, there it is, the diamond radialis antenna, all 39 to 40 inches of it. Attached directly to the IC705 using the Windcamp RC2 mount. Uh, nice and snug. Actually fits very well into the backpack. Uh, uh, and even as tall as the antenna is, I don't think it's too onerous if you're carrying this thing on your back or even just hand carrying it uh, out in the field. So this has been just a quick review of the different mounts that are capable of attaching antennas directly to the IC705, rubber ducks, HT antennas, and and mobile antennas and such, and, and what it takes to get them going. Hopefully it's a, been of some interest and benefit to you. Thanks much.